watching. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be treating scars. I have a wonderful treatment that you can use on your skin that's going to slowly fade your scars. Now this is not magic. It's not going to get rid of your scars in two days or three days. You have to use this on a regular. However, with continuous use of this remedy, your scars are going to slowly fade away. So if you're having a scar that is bugging you out, if you have scars or blemishes anywhere on your skin that you're trying to get rid of, maybe you need to give this a try. So come with me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up in no time. A scar is an area of fibrous tissue that replaces normal skin after an injury. Scars result from the biological process of wound repair in the skin as well as in other organs and tissues of the body. Thus, scarring is a natural part of the healing process. Now scars, if you have scars, any form of a scars on your body, this remedy is for you. Our first ingredient is lemon, and we're using lemon because lemon helps to lighten the skin because of its acidic properties. Our second ingredient is vitamin E oil, and vitamin E oil is filled with antioxidant that is gonna help to lighten and brighten the skin. It is also great for getting rid of any form of wrinkles. Our next ingredient is aloe vera gel. This is the bottle gel. If you have fresh aloe vera, go ahead and use that. Aloe vera is also gonna help to clear your scars up. It is loaded with natural minerals and vitamins that are known to help to clear the skin. It's also known to help to get rid of wrinkles from the skin. I'm also gonna be using some tea tree oil, and tea tree oil is gonna help to fade the spots also. I'm using almond oil and this is sweet almond oil and almond oil is great for the skin. It is great for getting rid of all scars and blemishes from the skin. Our final ingredient is baking soda and baking soda when mixed with other ingredients can help to get rid of scars from the skin. Now for this recipe you're gonna need a grater. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare the lemon and to prepare the lemon I'm first going to extract the zest by grating. Now lemon zest is loaded with lemon oil and lemon oil is one ingredient that is great for helping to get rid of scars. Now here we have our lemon zest and now we're going to put this scar remover treatment together. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of baking soda. A half a teaspoon of lemon zest. I'm going to use one teaspoon of aloe vera gel. Now this is a highly concentrated vitamin E oil. This is 28,000 IU. It's very concentrated. So if you have 8,000 IU, go ahead and use one teaspoon. For this, I'm just going to use a few drops. Moving on to our lemon. I'm going to use one tablespoon of lemon juice and I'm squeezing the fresh lemon directly in this mixture and here we have one tablespoon just make sure not to get the seeds in and now I'm going to mix this in a paste and this is exactly how we want it to be now our scar remover scrub is ready. We're gonna put this aside. And next, I'm gonna take my sweet almond oil. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sweet almond oil, reaching for my tea tree oil, about 10 drops of tea tree oil. And I'm gonna mix this together. 
So this is almond oil and tea tree oil and both these oils are really really great for getting rid of scars. You can also choose to add some shea butter to this or some cocoa butter, okay? And here we have it, our two steps for getting rid of scars. We have our scrub here and we have our oil treatment. And now I'm gonna show you how to use this on your scars. So here is the two steps scar remover treatment. And I'm gonna demonstrate on my hand right here. Now the first thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure to wash the scar. So you're gonna wash it. Once this is done, you're gonna take your treatment, this is treatment number one. You're gonna use it to exfoliate the scars. So you're just gonna rub it over the scars. And this is really and truly a wonderful fading treatment. If you have spots and blemishes, this is also gonna help to get rid of it. So just exfoliate the area that you have your scar or your scars. Oh wow. Sorry guys, I just feel like exfoliating my entire hands. Could see the difference already. Scar remover, no scar remover. Now once you finish exfoliating, you're gonna rinse off. Then you're gonna pat dry the area and then you reach for your second step, which is the Holman oil and tea tree oil. You're gonna take a little bit, not a lot, and you're gonna use this to massage the scars. Now this treatment can you be used on any kind of scars that you have. As we mentioned earlier, several different kinds of scars. Now for the oil, you're gonna use this at least two times per day to massage the scars. And as for your exfoliator, you're gonna use this at least three to four times per week to exfoliate the area. Before you know it, your scars is gonna fade and if it wasn't like a major scar, it's gonna disappear in no time. For severe scar, you're gonna give it time to work. Just continue to use the treatment and it's gonna slowly fade, okay? So there you have it, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave your comments, and if this was the first time watching, look below, you're gonna see the word subscribe, click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video, bye. There are five main types of scars. Hypertrophic scars, this is a raised scars. Hypertrophic scars are red and thick and may be itchy or painful. They typically occur after burn injury on the trunk and extremities. They usually occur within 48 weeks following wound infection or wound closure. Chelide scars. This is also a raised scars. The main difference of a hypertrophic scars is that they can grow outside the wound area. The most common area for chelide to form are in the ear lube after ear piercing and the deltoid after vaccination and the strotum after acne, chicken pox, trauma or surgery. Chelide scars can occur on anyone but people with darker skin pigmentation are more prone to them. Atrophic scars. This is a shrunken scar like a recess in the skin which has a pitted appearance. They are flat, depressed below the surrounding skin and are often round with an indented or inverted center. Common cause of atrophic scars are acne scars and pocket marks. Stretch marks. Stretch marks are also a form of scarring. They are caused when the skin is stretched rapidly. Example, pregnancy or rapid weight gain. Most of us can identify stretch marks as they are usually level with the skin and will differ in 
only in color burn scars if your skin has been burned you may have one or three different kinds of scars hypertrophic chelae or contractors contractors refer to the tightening of the skin after a second or third degree burn as the affected area is healing the surrounded skin pull together resulting in contractor